In A Week in the Woods by Andrew Clements, Mark, the main character, is leaving his old home in the city to go to a new home in New Hampshire. He is very confused and he's not sure what to do. This new home is in the middle of nowhere and it's in New Hampshire where he's never been before. He doesn't really want to make new friends and he doesn't see the need to make new friends because he's about to leave in four months to go to private school. He gets to a school and he finds out they're going on a field trip for a week in the woods. And he's not very excited because he doesn't feel very in tune with nature. On the other hand, his teacher, Mr. Maxwell, is very upset with him because he believes Mark's just rich and stuck up. And he's just like any other rich kid he's ever had. But really, <clears throat> Mark is just new to this situation. And he wants to get to know nature a little bit more and he explores around his new house. And he decides to go on the field trip to a week in the woods. And while there, Mr. Maxwell is looking for a time and place to get Mark in trouble, and he does. But Mark decides to run off into the woods by himself, where he gets lost. Eventually, Mr. Maxwell finds him and realizes that Mark did not do what he thought he did, and that Mark is a good kid. The moral of the story, or the theme of the story, is that do not judge a book by its cover. Just because Mark was rich didn't mean he was a bad person. And Mr. Maxwell realized this after a while throughout the book. So make sure that you are getting to know somebody before you judge them. Mark was just afraid and didn't know how to handle a new situation.